Welcome back to Core Ultrasound Image Review on coreultrasound.com. I'm your co-host, Taryn Trott, with Jacob Avila. This week, we continue with Dr. Aaron Tiagi, EM critical care physician at the University of Kentucky. We're going to take a look at two clips, the first being the MSK exam of a supracondylar fracture, and then the second being a soft tissue exam and really trying to pick out some of the nuances of what makes something a necrotizing soft tissue infection. Hope you enjoy. I like <laughs> ultrasound because it is useful. Mm. That's really why I like it. And speaking of useful, MSK ultrasound is something that I don't think that we do a great job of teaching our residents at because it never like saves a life. Like it's not like an echo where you can like save a patient's life with echo, but I really feel like in my practice, this dramatically helps disposition. I can do it faster and I can also tell the patient exactly what's going on, which were I a patient and my knee hurt, I wanna know, do I have an effusion? I'd wanna know, do I have my LCL, MCL, are they okay? Mm -hmm. Is my patellar tendon okay? I'd like to know all that and ultrasound is the way that we can do that in the emergency department. I mean, we can't get like MRIs of the knee in the emergency department. It'd be sweet if we could, uh, but we can't. Not really practical. Not it's not really practical, not until it's portable, exactly. So this right here is a posterior view of the elbow right here. You see, that's, the right here. that's so funny. I can tell you after two years of critical care fellowship, I've not done many <laughs> uh, ultrasound <laughs> elbow elbows. Ultrasounds. And so when I looked at this, I was I was like, oh, we're going to look at like an appendicitis here. <laughs> that's the psoas, yeah. pelvic rim. I'm <laughs> so far removed now. Yeah, well, this is good. Uh, so this is the humerus right here. Mm -hmm. This is a lecranon right here. There should be a straight line between here and here with nothing pushing out. This line that is here and here is like up here. So this, and I'll tell you this was a, uh, a skateboarder. Um, he was doing a, a, I don't know, like a, maybe a gnarly air or something like that. And he busted his humerus. And this is a supracondylar effusion. Pretty sweet, just for, for reference. This is normal. Yeah, really, the cortex really does not look smooth there at all. You're talking about over here? Yeah. 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 I mean, he had a, yeah, he had a, this is, I think it was like over here, super condor, but there's also something over here. I think that's like, probably yeah, I guess a lecranon, like right there, like right here, mm. right there. It could be a little fracture there, but this is normal. That's like joint fat right there. And if you see this above kind of a line that you draw between here and here, then that's abnormal. This is going to be a bit of a shorter one. We okay. talked about this is kind of an MSK thing. Taryn, what is going on here? I can tell it's soft tissue. Okay, okay. And the okay. first thing that my eyes kind of locked on to was some of this uh, edema. Kind of up here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we see some hypoechoic stuff kind going on down around. through there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so looks like either someone that has you know, cellulitis or could be something like a DVT, so anything that's causing some swelling. Swelling, yeah. What about this stuff down here? It's, it's pretty bright. It's pretty bright. It's pretty <laughs> hyperechoic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so almost like calcifications. Right? Yeah. Could be calcifications. The, the big thing that I was worried about when I saw this is, is this neck fash. Sure. Because neck fash has, I mean, not all the time, but the neck fascia, necrotizing soft tissue infection, as we're supposed to call it now, it has often has air, and air creates these little hyperechoic things. But the issue is that they're not really shadowing very well. Yeah, they're not shadowing at all. Yeah, so this is what actual NSTI looks like. So we saw that same edema, but mm -hmm. there's basically like really bad, dirty shadowing underneath yeah. all of this white stuff. Now, this is for sure air. Mm -hmm. What happens sometimes is you have these thing majiggies. So you have a chronic edema patient. Um, they've had edema for whatever, 10 years. Eventually you'll get these kind of soft tissue calcifications that will create something that looks like air, but it doesn't shadow very well. Kind of like what you're seeing over here. So this is just so the, the edema, chronic edema. The key difference is looking for the shadowing. Yeah, shadow's gotcha. a big deal. I wish I had more. That's all I got this week. We just been we just been hammering through everything. It's been great. It's pretty good. Some good pearls there. Yeah. Um, do you have any any shout outs? Um, I'd like to shout out to Haney Malamat. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Critical Care Now. Yeah. yeah. Check out his new site, criticalcarenow.com. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm getting to do some editing on that site as well. Cool, man. Yeah. Aaron, any shouts out? 
Um, shout outs. Shouts outs. I think it's shout outs. Shout outs. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Any shout outs? Um, no, shout out to you guys for oh having, cool yeah for letting me come and do this. Thanks man. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. shout cool. out back to you then. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah. just shouting out, out just shouting out all over the place, <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> all right, until next time. <laughs> all right, see you guys later. All right, all right, that was awesome. We got to take a look, quick look at two different clips and pick up some nuances of what we expect to see in something like a super condylar fracture. And what it comes down to is really three different things. We're looking for normal anatomic alignment of your bones, we're looking for things like breaks in the cortex, and we're looking for secondary signs of uh, fracture such as a infusion or hematoma, which we saw in that last, in the first example. Second, we took a look at a soft tissue exam using the linear probe. We definitely saw some edema, but we also saw some hyperechoic structures below, and we wanted to identify could this be, in fact, a necrotizing infection? And we picked up on a key difference is that in a necrotizing soft tissue infection, where you have hyperechoic structures, those should be shadowing because those represent air. Whereas in our example, we saw what was likely chronic edema as evidenced by small calcifications without any shadowing. So I hope you picked something up on those last two images on core ultrasound image review.